黒森美音ですアメリカ大統領選についてどうしてどっちも年寄りしか立候補しないのそれがダメだよねと分け知り顔で言う人って多いですがそれは全く事実を見誤っているんですよねバイデンはただの迷惑な年寄りで間違いないですし私は自分自身が高齢者だから気を使わずにはっきりと言っちゃいますけど年寄りしか寄ってこないものって本当にダメになりますそれは本当ですだけどトランプさんの場合は彼が2016年に巻き起こして今も続いているトランプムーブメントというのは年寄りのものではなくて10代20代30代から始まる全年代的なものなんですそれは確かにトランプさんは高齢だし規定によってあと4年間しか大統領できないわけですけれどもトランプムーブメントはトランプさんが象徴として引っ張ってはいるけれどもそしてまだトランプさんの力はとても大きいけれどでも彼の後は引き継ぐエネルギッシュな人たちはたくさんいるんですそしてそれをメディアなんかは最初から信じていない今の新しい世代が後押ししていますそれがトランプムーブメントなんですここまでいろんなインチキが目の前で次々行われてきてますよねけれども未だに厚労省だの専門家だのニュース番組だのを信じている愚か者たちが大勢いるけれどもそれとは違う世代がこの世の中には確かにディープステートがあってそれが世界を悪くしていると分かっている世代が本当に動き始めていますしかもたくさんそしてその人たちの声が日増しに大きくなっている世界の在り方とか歴史とかが根本的に変わる日ももう目前まで来ていますそれが形になるのは今年2024年です単なる大統領選挙の年ではなくて歴史が変わるんですよね今年この動画は先日トランプさんがサウスカロライナで集会を開いた時の様子です会場に入りきれない人たちが会場の外からトランプさんを応援していますご覧くださいは
Four years ago, we were a great nation. Today, we're a nation that's being laughed at. And we're not going to stand for it. We're going to win in November. We're going to turn our country around. It's going to be greater than ever before. The spirit that I've seen. So we did great in 2016. We won. We did much better in 2020. We got screwed. But we're not going to let that happen. We're, there is more spirit now. Look at the scene. I mean, we're 10 months away. There is, there is more spirit now than there was in 2016 or 2020. I just want to thank everybody. So I'm going in to make a speech. You can watch it out here. But I'm coming back, and we're going to make one where everybody can get in. We'll get the biggest arena or the biggest piece of land that will take over an airport or something. And we'll get everybody here. And we're going to get them all in or we're going to get them on and we're going to give the best speech you've ever heard. I want to just, look, I just have to thank you. Your governor's been a friend of mine for a long time. I don't want to say it too loud, but the fact is, it was more important to get Henry McMaster to be governor than it was to have her at the United Nations to have him governor. And he did a much better job. So, again, thank you. I'm going to speak, you're going to listen, and I'm going to come back and we're going to get everybody into that arena. We'll have to, maybe we'll have to build a new arena, because this was supposed to be the position. Or we'll just simply have it outdoors. Thank you all very much. We love you. Go and vote. So, so you have early voting on Monday, so get in there and early vote. We love you. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. South Carolina, we've had a great relationship with South Carolina. Thank you very much. On day one, I will sign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content onto the lives of our children. And I will not give one penny to any school that has a vaccine mandate or a mask mandate. And I can't even believe I have to say it, but I do have to say it because I guess I'm a politician. I guess. I don't feel like a politician. I will keep men out of women's sports. 100%.